hello and welcome to a new video. So today I'll be trying to complete something I tried to do in a video before. Is I before I uh, went came up to Airquay Park with the intention of going up to the top of the park to the overlook area when um, I was riding on the Honda Navi. And when I came up here, the top of the park was not open. So today I came up here again with hopes that it would be open so I can actually go through. Because they, I think they open it every weekend, the last weekend of the month. And last time I came through that, I guess it wasn't the right day or there was some event going on, but it wasn't open. So today, I'm going through during the actual last weekend of a month and hopefully it'll be open. Because there's a path that goes to the uh, top of the park that um, is closed to vehicles most of the time. And then you know, it used to be that we open on the weekends and then there, uh, COVID happened and there was some erosion of the road that goes to the top and it was closed for a while, then they fixed it. And then they, you know, got rid of any COVID closure type stuff. Uh, and since then, it's supposed to be where they open the road that goes to the top one week in a month. I really wanted to go up there and ride around so hopefully it's open Nairquay Park is in Louisville Kentucky it's been around for quite a while it was something that Frederick Law Olmsted who developed you know a lot of the parks in New York like um, you know Central Park and what have you and also developed parks in other areas and he developed parks in Louisville Kentucky a number of different parks that are part of the system and one of them was Airquay Park and it was established at the end of the 1800s early 1900s and it's been renovated over the years since then obviously and I think it actually is open And it is success yeah so this is up a road that goes to the top of the park and I'm riding a Honda Navi so this little Honda Navi and I um, just got the first service done on it because the first service is supposed to come at 600 miles the bike now has 613 so I had the first service done And then I think after the first one, every subsequent service is 2,600 miles for the most part. Or, you know, if you don't hit that mileage, probably once a year. So I got that first service out of the way. Yeah, so now the bike's been fully, you know, fully broken in, had the first service done. So, you know, kind of good to go. Yeah, I was going to ride up to the top here. Now, unfortunately, I guess fortunately, if you're, you know, when you're a pedestrian, you can't actually, um, you can't actually drive a vehicle, a motorized vehicle, so, you know, car, truck, SUV, motorcycle, etc., all the way up to the uh, overlook. <coughs> They used to have a setup where you could do that. And they had to change it over the years because you used to be able to drive a car right up. Uh, I swallowed a bug there as <laughs> well. I'm uh, struggling to talk. But yeah, you used to be able to ride straight up to the overlook, cars, trucks, what have you, and drive around it. Um, 
and then a number of years ago they did a renovation of the overlook area to make it a little bit more visually attractive to update it some because it had some erosion and just you know degradation over time so i can't drive this navi all the way up to that and overlook the city but and this is the south overlook where it's all overgrown so you really can't see out <laughs> to see much but at the top of the park they have some basketball courts they have some covered picnic pavilion areas there's a uh, hiking trails like I said, there's the overlook, and there's just roads that kind of loop through the top of the park. So there's the, the baseball, or not baseball, there's the basketball goals that nobody is using currently. And then up here, there is a playground, a covered pavilion picnic area. I'll go look at this uh, picnic area. There's some gravel, which can be the enemy of two-wheeled vehicles. This is Jacob's Lodge. Looks like it's been uh, painted. Let's walk around. Look. Yeah, it's uh, I just saw a lizard scroll, crawling around. Yeah, it's all been painted because I went here before and there's a bunch of graffiti all over the place. But it looks like it's been uh, mostly cleaned off. And uh, not a ton up here, so just a covered area. <laughs> And there's the bike. All right, so now we're back in motion. So that was just the Jacob Lodge, Jacob's Lodge, a little covered area. I think it used to be an administration building a long time ago. Burnt Knob Pavilion, which is just a playground, and there's a covered gazebo picnic area way back in the by the woods. So now we're going to keep heading uh, towards the overlook. I have a couple of cars coming through as well. There's a bit of gravel in the road, which again, on a bicycle, motorcycle, what have you, should uh, require having a little bit of caution. Because you can very easily uh, <laughs> lose traction in gravel or loose sand or, you know, grass clippings from people mowing their yard. There's a lot of things that cause you lose traction. And this is the, uh, the road that goes up to the overlook. Which again, I cannot ride this Honda Navi up to. Well, I mean, I guess technically I could, but would not be, uh, what you're supposed to do. And they have cameras up there, too. 
So if you're planning to come up here and you do want to just fly out the rolls and ride a motorcycle up to the overlook, they do have cameras that, I'm not sure what resolution they are, but they may be able to capture your license plate. So this is just part of the road that goes along the top. Kind of goes through here. And along the way, there's a couple of mini overlooks. Um, areas where you can pull over and look out over the city. Uh, you know, or you used to be able to, but um, they have let a lot of the trees and vegetation grow up. So at this point, most of those overlooks are so overgrown, you can't really see anything. You know, at least in the spring and the summer. In the fall and winter, if the trees are mostly bare, sometimes you can see more out. Because, like, this is an example of um, kind of an overlook area that has grown up enough that you can't really see out. And this is Krupp's Point. Yeah, I can't really uh, see much aside from some trees and down the side of the hill. Then going along here, all this has grown up now, but there are some trails over here on the left uh, where these wooden, where this wooden fence is. Um, there are walking paths and bike paths and trails that go back over to the kind of uh, Jacob's Lodge Pavilion area. Um, so this is all really grown up quite a bit <laughs> uh, compared to what it was like the winter. So you can see it's grown up a lot. And there's even like a like there's a bench or something but yeah that if you go to the left there over that wooden fence there's some trails and paths that the loop around so if you hike up to the top or ride a you know mountain bike or whatever to the top you can kind of go through that area and explore if you want And then here's another one of those little mini uh, outlook areas. Panther Point. Can't really see much. This is a park that's been around for quite a while. You said it's been around since Oh, I forget what the exact numbers are, but they're late 1800s, early 1900s. I remember coming here as a child. And if you want to just come here and cruise around like I'm doing, this is a good place to do it. I think if you look at the calendar each month, the last weekend of the month this is supposed to be open on saturday and sunday from i forget the exact time like 9 or 10 a.m to 6 p.m uh so if you come you know before 6 p.m on the last saturday and sunday of the month you can come up here and ride along the top and then this road will come out by the basketball courts So it came back out to the basketball courts that we passed on the way up. The Burnt Knob Playground. Well, it wasn't the Burnt Knob. It wasn't the um, Burnt Knob Playground. It was just Burnt Knob, and that encompassed, I think, the playground and some other stuff. Then up here to the left, there's a little covered gazebo type area with the bench and again this is the south overlook but it's all it's all overgrown so you can't really see anything out in the winter you can a little bit because the trees will be bare and you can see out is that that end looks kind of more out over the um like fairdale type area um as opposed to the, the northern outlook, looks out into more of the city and you can see downtown Louisville and 
you know, across a big swath of the city. Um, and I think this is where they had to put in some, they put in this barrier because the road on the right side of that was eroding some. That was part of why they had that road closed for a while. So I believe that was the fix for that. And I think that from the ground level, so no doubt the street to the top of the park, you know, it's a little over 200 feet elevation gain. So that's, you know, why it's higher above the ground level and you can see, mount, uh, see out to the city more. And this is uh, going back down Uphill Road to Rundell Road to go back to the bottom of the park. And the sun's starting to peek out a little bit. Um, I had kind of held off on going for rides. Well, one, I had this getting the service done, but two, it had been so hot. It was in the 90s, the upper 90s. So it was absolutely miserable to ride wearing a helmet and, you know, like I could wear some type of prote protective gear, you know. Um, it was just miserably hot. So I hadn't really done much riding. But today, uh, the temperature's in the low 80s and it, was mostly overcast earlier so it was actually a little bit cooler and it was a, I was able to wear this protective jacket without getting too uh too completely overheated but it still feels pretty nice in the shade going downhill with the wind rolling through yeah but if you're in the Louisville Kentucky area you can come up here to Airquip Park because I've ridden through a number of parks um, on e-bikes or this Navi. Um, you know, I go pretty frequently through Cherokee Park. But it feels like Cherokee Park doesn't have quite, uh, it, you know, it doesn't have the overlook or kind of the upper part like Airquay Park does. Yeah, so now we're about to exit to Rundill Road. And two, there's hiking trails that go up uh, from the ground level to the top of the park to the overlook. And there's ones that start along this uh, paved path as well. Oh, I accidentally hit the horn there. Yeah, so that was going up to the top of Airquay Park, going up and riding around the top on the Honda Navi. Yeah, so that'll wrap up this ride. Until next time.